Okay, take four. All right, do you want to know how to edit video angles? Two different cameras. I'm going to show you how to do it. Switching to this view, to this view, back to this view, to this view, just to give things a little more dimension. I'm going to show how you do it, show you how to do it in Filmora 9. Stay tuned. So I am using a Mac computer with Filmora 9. So the first thing I do is I go up to force quit to see if there's any big programs running. Safari's running. I did close that out with the red X before, but as you see, it's still running in the background. So let's force that to quit. And I am using everything else. Good there. Now let's open up a new project here in Filmora 9. All right, I have my webcam camera and my iPhone let's get into the media folder all right expand this so all right so we have the webcam as a main camera and the iPhone as an angle camera that was set up on the uh, on my windowsill and uh, so what we're gonna do is add a video track because by default film over Filmora just opens up a one video, one audio. We don't need the audio track at all there. So we're just going to add video. And then let's drag down the first video. Boom. Match the media if necessary. And iPhone. Boom. All right, we have the two clips. What we're going to do is create a little space to mess with them. So I'm going to shrink down the... Um, the preview actually I'm going to also play by quality bring it down to low quality this way it runs a little bit more smoother and we're going to expand vertically the clips so we can see the waveforms better so, okay so both clips and as you noticed in the beginning of the video I used a clapboard to create a spike and we can see those right here and that's what we're going to use to line up the uh, the audio so it syncs with uh, with Eclipse. So let's move these away from the, the beginning of the timeline so we have room to move the clips back and forth if need be. Get them kind of line. I'm gonna take the curves. Let's see. And all right, take the cursor. Bring it close. And then on the upper right side, let's expand the timeline as far as you can. Now that's a bit too blocky for me. So what I'm going to do is just hit the minus and boom, one more time. It's a more refined. And then let's uh, line these babies up. So I'm dragging each one until it gets close. Let's bring the to the edge there. And that actually should be pretty decent. What we can do is, let's see, let's get some audio here. I'll play it for you so you can hear it. All right, let's see. All right, do you want to know how to edit video angles? To the All right, so there's no delay. So that is good. Now, just to... Um, just to show you the difference when they're not in sync, let's play them. Two different cameras, I'm going to show you how to do it. Switching, switching. See, it's out of sync. So let's hit the undo back and go. So we got them synced up. That is the important part. So let me uh, lower my speakers here so that we don't get feedback. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is uh, let's shrink the timeline a bit to work with let's find the starting point and you don't have to do it necessarily in this order but what I wanted to do is clean this up a bit so I'm gonna clip it right there so I'll select both with the command split them 
Okay, and delete that, delete that piece, select them both again. Drag them to the beginning of the timeline. Hit the home button. Oh, they're not there. There we go. All right. Now, the next thing is we're going to detach the audio from the video, the first video clip. This is my webcam, which is also hooked up to the snowball, which you are listening to now. The, the audio from the second camera was far away on the ledge. It's not as good. So what we're going to do is actually let's, let's click that first and mute it. We don't need that. Next thing we do is clip, uh, click the main clip. Did I move a bit? And detach the audio. Right click and click detach audio that'll drop that down on the bottom so now when we cut the video up here it won't cut the audio also all right next let's find out where i'm going to change my direction all right and i am moving to the second camera let's do the edit there oh did i uh let's Playback quality is still low, but it doesn't look that low. All right, and we're getting ready to move. Let's see. Let's find out where I shift over. Okay, right about there. So what we're going to do is make sure that's only selected there. We're going to clip it and then keep it running and we're moving back to the other camera let's kind of clip it there take that piece out and now that that piece is missing it'll default back down to the second timeline and that's how you switch so actually i'm going to put the audio up so you can hear and let's run this switching to this view, to this view, back to this view, to this view, just to give things a little more dimension. Okay, I missed the first clip back, but we got the second one. So let's go to the first one too and, and clip that away. I'm gonna show you how to do it, switching. Okay, getting ready to go to that. Let's click that, snip, all right. To this view, to this, all right, back to that main one. We have that selected. Let's snip that. Okay, and... Get ready to... Watch the uh, the first angle switch. I'll show you how to do it. Switching to this view, to this view. Back to this view. So this view, just to give things a little more dimension. All right. So you see, right here, I um, so I did, I did uh, take out the clip uh, here, so you can see the second one, and take out the clip. And the second time, I switched over to the camera angle, and um, so that's how you do switching the camera angles. If you had a third one, you can actually take away the first two pieces of video to switch to the third one and that's how you get to the third shot some people do it the other way and they have the main timeline on the bottom and then put bits and pieces on top i like doing it this way anyway there you go